Greetings one and all. Welcome back to my kitchen here today where I am going to be making another Italian pasta dish. Uh, now the pasta I'm going to be using today is this for ledger. Uh, I've had that sitting in the pantry for quite some time so I wanted to use it. Um, it was quite a, yeah, good <laughs> good quality brand from uh, a deli. So I'm going to be using that, but my sauce is going to be puttanesca, which is another, um, yeah, reasonably classic um, sauce from the south of Italy. Now puttanesca, I found out recently, uh, literally translates, well, a la puttanesca, uh, translates in the style of the prostitute so apparently one story is it was a dish that the uh, ladies of the night used to cook to try and attract um, customers males whatever into their abode um, I don't know about any of that but that's the story but let's get on with it so I've just got some more water boiling over there just about boiling for my um, pasta. Um, I've got one quarter of a cup, so quite a lot of extra virgin olive oil. And I've just got that on a medium heat. To that, I'm gonna add three cloves of garlic, which I've just chopped. And I'm just gonna gently cook that garlic just for a half a minute or so. Mm. Is there a better smell in the world than garlic? When it first hits some beautiful olive oil. Now another reasonably essential ingredient to this is some anchovy fillets. I've got four of them there that I've just sort of roughly chopped. And I know people go yuck, or some people. We'll go yuck, I don't like anchovies. It really is essential. You get a background sort of note, the anchovies basically sort of melt into the oil. And you get a kind of background note that if nobody told you it was anchovy, you wouldn't know. And probably at the same time, I'm going to add my quarter cup of Kalamata olives that I've just roughly chopped, pitted, roughly chopped, and about a tablespoon of capers. Now those capers and olives, I gave a little bit of a rinse as well before I chopped them. So we'll just get all that gently sauteing in our olive oil. I'm not sure if this is authentic or not, but I'm gonna do it. I've just got here a quarter teaspoon of dried chili flakes. I'm gonna put them in. It's not much. Again, it's not gonna be an overpowering chili flavor, but just another back note. I did consult with my friends at the mypinchofitaly.co.uk website. I forgot to ask them about the chili. I asked them about a few other things. I guess I'll find out in the comments as we go. Alright, that's been going long enough. <clears throat> I've got here a tin of Italian diced tomatoes. I don't know if you can see that, 100% <laughs> Italian tomatoes. And this residue in the can, I'm going to get a little bit of water and just slosh that so we don't waste that. So I'll just get that up to a boil and then I'm going to simmer that for around 10 minutes or so. Now, meanwhile, my water is boiling rapidly over there, my salted water. I'm going to add my 200 grams 
of Philadelphia dry pasta. Into there. Now we're going to cook that until um, whatever it says on the packet. Take it out about a minute before. We want it even a little bit harder than al dente because we're going to be finishing it off in our hot sauce here. Alrighty guys, so my sauce there's been um, simmering away there for seven or eight minutes. As you can probably see, I've taken my um, pasta off the heat and I've just drained that. But what I have done is, just before I drained it, I've kept about half a cup of that pasta water. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that, not all of it, maybe about half that, so probably about a quarter of a cup into that simmering sauce and I'm just going to let it simmer for another couple of minutes alrighty so now I'm going to grab my pasta and um, introduce my pasta into my sauce and mix it through and let it cook in there for just a minute or two now there's quite a logic to that like um, and that's why I haven't cooked this quite to al dente yet it's nearly there um, this gives you much more control to actually get your pasta to a nice al dente texture uh, um, in the sauce because the sauce isn't quite as harsh as boiling water where it can go from being undercooked to overcooked in a matter of seconds here it'll take a little bit longer to get up to the right um, yeah texture and um, you're sort of more in control of it, basically. So let's get our pasta in there. Thoroughly mix it through our sauce. All right, like I say, I'm just gonna give that another couple of minutes. What I might do, I just give it another little dribble of my, um, pasta water just a little bit all right I'll see you in a couple of minutes alrighty so we're here we are just like I said about one and a half minutes or so later I'm gonna turn that off the heat now just to finish that off I'm just gonna throw in a handful of fresh parsley leaves and I'm saving a few of those leaves for garnish as well. So we'll just stir them through as it's um, as that heat's dying down. And that, my friends, is my Putinesca ready to be served. Alrighty, guys. So I've served up a plate of my Putinesca. Um, looks really, really nice. Uh, I guess it looks really, really rustic. Like it's a real yeah, home style looking dish. It smells fantastic. Um, yeah, I can't wait to try it. Let's get into it. I think that pasta has worked really, really well. And so far as it's carrying that sauce, I won't try and it up too close to the camera because it's going to flick everywhere. I'll just give it a taste. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Finishing pastas off in the sauce has become such a revelation. It's, um, I wouldn't do it any other way now. It really gives the pasta a chance to um, sort of, as the sauce is thickening, it sort of, I don't know, it just seems to grab it better and almost take on an outer coating of the flavors. 
it's cooked beautifully it's just um, just got the slightest little edge to it so yummy now the sauce itself is just yum really full of umani that um, salty um, <laughs> I, I don't know how to describe it you, you know what it is it's got that hint of anchovies it's not overpowered at all by the flavor of anchovies but it's it's there um, and the olives of course and the capers it's just oh man <laughs> really really good I really hope you give this one a try so thanks for watching uh, thanks to everyone who has subscribed to the channel uh, thanks for sticking by me this is video number 350 um, for those interested and yeah it's been a pleasure making them and yeah I, I, my channel is still very very small but I really appreciate those that have um, yeah stuck by me I love your, those comments I've get, been getting from your regular people you know who you are really really appreciate it um, look if you haven't subscribed yet and you've um, watched the video this far can I ask that you um, hit that subscription button that'd be great really does help the channel out um, but if you don't want to subscribe that's alright just thanks for watching anyway and I will see you all next time